All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to work on what looks like a flying V. Craftsman? It says Japan. It has a Craftsman socket on it. It's a quarter inch. And chrome plating is bright here, but the rest of it, I don't know, it's dull. Anyways, it just spins. It doesn't catch. It's either really dirty or it's broke. So I thought I'd take it apart and see what I got. Bring you guys along. Oops. And it's built like a Craftsman. Something one of the Craftsmans I've taken apart. It does not want to come apart easily. Uh oh, clip came out on one side. I think. Nah, I'm not gonna say this thing's been seen better days by the looks of it. Well, you gonna come out, come out, come out. Well, almost out. There. Ball bearings in there. There is a ball bearing in there. And it is made like a, uh, huh, when I, I've got it face down, see this face, I got it to face down. For you guys that ever take one of these apart, you can pull this out right here and the ball bearing will, f will stay on the table if it pops out, that ball bearing right there. And that ball bearing stuck, something's not right. Something's not right. All right, pick time, ball bearing stuck, something, something's goofy here. Let's get a little carburetor cleaner. Ball bearings, no wonder it's not working. I'm trying to pop the ball bearing out. All right, little screwdriver. That ain't working. Little WD-40 in there now. heck it definitely stuck in there something's not right so, I was just looking I think this thing's wore out I don't know. I think it might be wore out. They're not normally peened over to where you can't get Sop up all this liquid in there. All right, 
Be right back. I'm going to put this under the magnifying glass and see why that ball bearing won't come out. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to the conclusion that is peen is pressed in. They peened it over somehow. Cannot figure any way of getting that ball bearing out. It will not come out. Get all the dirt. I'm just gonna kind of clean this up a little bit. And then just see if it'll go back together and if it'll work if it was just dirty and dry. Huh. It's weird. Never seen one I couldn't take apart before, or like this, anyways. I want to see what the teeth are like. Hard to tell if I got one broke or not. They're pretty good. All right, I gotta put it under a magnifying glass because I'm having a hard time seeing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am correct. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see the teeth. There's like every other one has got damage or folded over. Uh, this wrench was used, overused. I think that's bent right there, that's bent. Can't see, I don't need glasses to see up close, but this is small, but under the magnifying glass, you can definitely notice that it's damaged. And then this, what, attracted my attention was there should be two definite uh, protrusion edges whatever you want to call them that's rounded off right there and on this side it's almost completely gone so this wrench is junk it's a shame too because uh, it's a quarter inch. I mean, they're good wrenches. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to keep. Sorry, I'm going to keep these parts only because I can reuse these clips and this base, this cap, and this. These two parts, they're just junk. They're, they're not rebuildable. It's not worth the, you can't really do much. I mean, I could sit there with a file and try to clean each one of these up, but I don't, I'm not going to. It's not worth it. But I did get a good 5 16 Craftsman out of there. Double V series. And still got some life out of it. Well, can't win them all. Lost a buck or somewhere around there. I think it, uh, it would have been worth it to fix this up and clean it, you know, make it usable, but it's, you can't win everything. You, either, you've got some losses sometime, and this is a loss. Oh well, I'll post this 
you guys, some of you guys may get a kick out of it. Just, you know, I'm always buying used junk tools and sometimes that's what they are, junk. But you don't know until you, you know, get into them and use them and take them apart and clean them up. And this, this one, it, it is junk. But I do have some good usable parts and you never know, you might find another or I might find another. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe if you would, just tell me what you think. Y'all have a good day.